Coming up on this week's show, from the A-League to North America, why Richard Garcia has got the travel bug, the glory NPL side strike a pose, and all the quarter-final action from the Coolridge Cup. Hello, welcome to Football 360, Australia's best online football show. Well, after playing his trade in the A-League for the past two seasons, Perth's Richard Garcia is off to Minnesota in the North American Soccer League. He told Jonathan Cook how the move came about. One of our Sydney players, uh, Thiago Calvano, had gone there in, in January and uh, the agent that took him there was, was quite interested in me. And when Sydney told me that they'd wait till the end of the season to, to negotiate, I started looking for options and that popped up and, you know, um, it seemed like a good opportunity. It's a five game stint with an option to probably stick around if I enjoy it that much. For at the moment it's only five games and I'll be sort of be back sort of mid-July I'd say. Motivation to, to go to Minnesota was pretty much for a new experience. I mean I've, I've done Europe and um, been back home for a little while now so you know I, I thought it was a, a great opportunity for myself as well as the family. Obviously a lot has been made of um, Alessandro Del Piero's impact on the A-League off and on the field. What was it like to play alongside him? Uh, fantastic, you know, he's a, he's a fantastic professional and a, such a humble person. Everyone learnt something off him in that, in that whole time and he was full of advice and uh, full of encouragement, which is fantastic and, you know, that's just testament to the fantastic professional that he is. Obviously, when you first returned to Australia, there was talk about Perth Glory. Is there any desire to play for your hometown team? I've been pretty open about this, that I've always wanted to play for Perth and that playing for your home team is, is something a little bit special and uh, I'm no different to anyone else, you know. I think most people want to play at home in front of their friends and family. If, if something would, were to come up then, you know, um, if, it's, if it's right for, for myself and the family then uh, I'll definitely take it. Well time now to take a look at the quarter-final action from the Coolridge Cup, kicking off with Inglewood taking on Bayswater.
What's your assessment of the season so far? Our season as such is probably in two phases. We have a, which an NYL competition window that we prepare for. And obviously currently we're in the um, MPL competition window at the moment. A lot of our focus is about performance and performing to obviously win games. How important is it for the glory to have a presence in the NPL? I think it's vital. I think it's vital not only to develop young players at, at 16, 17, 18 and, and beyond. There's a lot of facets to having us in the NPL from a youth development, from a performance focus and also uh, as a club being present amongst the football community here. So how does it feel to be uh, playing in the Purple for Glory and Peel? Uh, it's a privilege mate, absolutely privilege. Uh, I'm one of the lucky lads to uh, actually be part of the team wow. and and be a skipper as well, you know, to lead my team out every every week, which is really good. I'm, I'm happy about it and uh, I can ask for anything else, just look to the future. It's good that the MPO came, came in place, you know, with uh, with the young lads trying to be trying to be better players, which is really good and it's very competitive as well. So, uh, yeah, I think it's a, it's, it's a good thing. Where do you think the Glory and PL team will finish come the end of 2014? We are looking at the top four, if possible, you know, so we're going to play our hardest to uh, get there and uh, we'll do everything that we can, you know, during training and during games to get ourselves in the top four. That's, that's our goal. And that wraps up another busy Football 360 for this week. We'll be back again in a fortnight. Once again, don't forget to watch the weekly NPL Highlights show. Until then, it's bye for now.